Yeah, thanks for playing, guys. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Hey, In guys. five, four, three, two, one, begin. Good luck. All right, everybody. One more round of bear claps, please, in the chat, if you don't mind. Let's get a little hype in here for the Bear Taffy Bellatro Brawl Finals. Is officially underway. I'm very excited to see these four boys put on a show for us today. And I, I, I think we're going to see some high scores here, man. I think, I think we got four extremely capable Bellatro players here. All know what they're doing. Frost is already pogging up, man. You can see it. And we got a uh, rare Joker skip from Apollo out of the gate. My little logo there, unfortunately, blocking a tiny bit of his tag, but you can still make it out there and see that he has opted to go straight for the hook here. Trying to get himself something strong going early on. Of course, skipping for those rare Jokers, as you see Dan uh, considering for a moment there early on here as well. In fact, uh, is he th he's thinking about it. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, man. You got, I mean, there's a lot of gambles going on in this game, obviously, but the, the, the skipped blinds often end up, uh, especially for the rare and the uncommon jokers, if they don't pay off, that's, a, that's one entire shop that you've lost for the run, and that, that can hurt you. I know Malf has uh, recently been preaching, especially for the higher stakes, Malf has been preaching the uh, no-skip meta. Unless the tag is just way too good for your current situation you usually want to try to take as many of those shops as you can looks like the rare didn't work out for him either this time for apollo dan's looking at a uh, an early hieroglyph here as well although not really looking like he's got the economy for it at the moment and does opt to skip for that second rare joker opportunity okay okay so this is going to be an interesting start here for dan as well Looking down on the bottom left of your screen, we got Frost Prime currently rocking that uh, Diamond Joker. It's going to be giving him $1 per Diamond card played. That's a pretty nice way to get his economy rolling early on. I think that is the Flush Joker as well, uh, right there next to his, uh, his Diamond Boy. I realized as I was setting this up, I, I have this fancy little thing here that I've, that I've uh, made where we can shift over to this perspective and uh, learn a little, little bit more about the Jokers that are in play. The unfortunate part of that now I'm realizing is that I do need to know the names of all the Jokers if I want to do that. So if you if y'all want to get more info about a, a Joker on screen at any time, feel free to shout out the name of it, and I'll, I'll do my best to uh, provide you that little visual aid. Otherwise, we'll just, you know, do what we can to stay on top of the commentary here and see all of what's going on. We got a Stone Joker over there for Sinvicta down on the bottom right to start off with, along with a walkie-talkie and the credit card. You can see he's gone into negative money already. Negative 10 bucks is going to be uh, uh, tough to recover from. He's adding those Stone cards to the deck. Maybe he'll be able to start building around that soon. The walkie-talkie, definitely one that I have uh, not really gotten a lot of success out of, but I've seen these boys taking it a lot more frequently than I expected, and... and you know, maybe there's something to that. Maybe, they, you know, really any any Joker that is capable of giving both Molt and Chips uh, for a single card played is, is you know, probably worth considering, especially when you start talking about, like, re-triggers and red seals and that kind of thing. can add up pretty quickly, so it makes sense. Got a foil Fibonacci up there for Apollo. That's a pretty nice Joker to get you through a few annies there, along with the ice cream. Should be pretty easy going for him for a little while here. As it uh, looks like he's playing at a breakneck pace so far, too, as Apollo, which you got to love that. He realizes that the time is absolutely a factor today. He's going to be trying to go as quick as he possibly can here. In fact, let's go ahead and listen in with Apollo for a second, see what his thought process is like early on here. No, Fib is pretty useless for what we're trying to do here. Um, and free oh, shop shot for him as well. Bit. I gotta restart, I think. Let me see what's in here first. Oh, he's thinking about a reset. Uh, yeah, I think I gotta restart this. Yeah. It's all kind of cringe and bad. Mm, yeah, hollow gross Michael, not fantastic either. Give me that free store. I don't mm -hmm. need double money. Just give me the free store. Uh, suit me. So he's looking for that strong start, it seems. He's not satisfied with the foil Fibonacci. He knows that's not gonna be all that useful going forward. However,. We do have something exciting over here in the top right. Dan Giesling has managed to grab himself a polychrome old bap. 
in the form of the ancient Joker. I'll go ahead and take advantage of our fancy new layout thing here to show you guys what's going on with that one. Ancient Joker. Pretty fantastic for the late game. A really good way to get some additional multiplier going. And especially if you can get it early on, nice to be able to try to build around this, try to try to turn your entire deck into a single suit and just get as many multipliers as you can go or as you can go in that way. Olbat comes from Malf. I believe uh, this artwork, in fact, is directly inspired by Malf. I think it's a tribute to him for all the time that he uh, spent with the Bellatro demo in the early days. And, you know, more power to him. Well deserved. Dan with a, uh, you know, not, not a terrible start here, actually. He's got the Lusty Joker as well to give some additional benefit to those hearts. It looks like he's going to be playing the Sigil here, too, going to all fours. So Dan probably looking for a walkie-talkie soon, actually. He wouldn't mind getting some help from that to help the scoring early on here, I imagine. Going to be a fun little five-of-a-kind play for him right out of the gate. Easy clear there. Taking a peek back down at our competitors on the bottom here. We still got Frost, who appears to be on the same run Welcome back. that he started off with here. He's still rocking the uh, economy from the Diamond Joker there. He's got the photograph for the 2X on face cards played. It looks like he picked up the Tribe here as well, which uh, I was talking a little bit about the Tribe yesterday. Just a, a rare that I that I struggled to get a ton of value out of. It's only a 2x multiplier on a flush plate, which really, it's not that great. You know, like, you, 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 especially from a rare, you want a, bit, a little bit more value out of that pro probably. And the fact that there's not really any kind of scalability going along with it is just a flat 2x mult. It's, it's nice early on, but it's, it's almost certainly something that Frost is going to be looking to change out later on too. He is clearly going for these Jupiter cards, though, here. It looks like he might have picked up the uh, the voucher that gives him a guaranteed flush for every Celestial pack. I think he's got he's got the Constellation here, too, it looks like, if I'm remembering right. You know, let me double-check on this, but I think that's going to give him some additional value out of, those, uh, out of those planet cards as well. Or no, sorry, that's not Constellation. This is... Uh, what is that one? They, 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 they all blend together, especially those, those starry ones. I have to check in on that again to see what's going on with him. Meanwhile, Sinvicta down there in the bottom right, grabbed himself a swashbuckler and a black bean. So he's getting some nice value here already. Obviously losing the hand size from the black bean soon, but going to make things pretty easy for him as he chugs along here early on. He's got the free celestial and planet cards as well, courtesy of that second joker. We'll see how long he decides to hang on to that. Oh, Supernova, that's the one. I'm going to look in on that again. Oh, that's right. Adds the number of times Poker Hand has been played to the molt. That's the one. Yeah, so another that's, you know, it's, it's decent early on, but more than likely not going to be hanging on to that one for too much longer either. Cine V utilizing the, uh, the solid molt he's getting from these commons to... Cruise on through the early antes here. He's grabbed a couple of spectral cards as well, but so far nothing that uh, really looks like an extremely strong foundation for him. Nothing really to build off of, really, besides Walkie Talkie, I guess, which we were just talking about, and maybe there's a possibility he gets that going again. Does look like Dan lost the uh, Polychrome Ancient Joker run, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like he had to tap out on that one and get a quick reset. Meanwhile, up there in the top left... We see Apollo now. He's got the Smeared Joker along with... Ooh, he's got Midas. Okay, this is always fun. Midas Mask. Absolutely. Despite its, uh, you know, seeming uh, not all that fantastic on its own. Absolutely a Joker you're, you're able to build off of uh, in the long run. Of course, things like Vampire, for example, are going to be able to feast off those gold cards that are being constantly generated. There's a lot of ways you can play with gold cards as well. I mean, there's obviously the money being generated from it is pretty nice, but it's a strong joker, especially for an uncommon. It's a good way to get a get a build going. Got that smear joker up there as well as the uh, Troubadour, it looks like, so and juggler. So, yeah, an interesting. We got a, a, a set of utility jokers up there for Apollo, who's clearly looking to try to construct something around this Midas. I don't know how long he's going to keep that smeared. 
We'll see how he decides to uh, to pivot here. Frost still rocking that initial build. Now got himself a gross Michael along with a hanging Chad. I'm gonna get some additional flat molt off that along with a retrigger of his first card plate, I believe. And now we got a polychrome smiling face for Dan. Okay, I I, I like his uh, I like his lack of hesitance in polychroming some of these jokers right away. I think when I'm playing ghost deck, I, I tend to uh, I tend to be a little bit too selective, I think, with what I decide to apply my polychrome to. No hesitation on Dan's part. No, he's, he's, he's full sending it. The smiley face, of course, going to give him some additional molt for face cards played, so he's more than likely going to be looking to go that route here. Does have a free shop as well. Interesting play from Dan. Decides to pop the second hex, which, oh, he must have gotten a poly smiley face from just the shop then. He skipped for that poly. I see. Okay, so now he's still got his hex, and of course he just cracked it on the misprint. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that. Looks like he's going to reset it too. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, that's, uh, oh, he didn't know it deleted the other one. I see. I see. Okay, yeah, no, that was just a, that was a learning experience for Dan apparently. All right. Ooh, we got a poly sock and buskin down there for Cine V. Let's listen in on Cine for a bit and see how he's feeling here. That Joker could get us if if we start duplicating that uh, that Lucky King. And the duos times two, I mean. Go with that. I don't want to waste all of our money. Okay, so. We have uh, we have the mouth. We can only play one hand type, so we have to pretty much play a four of a kind here. Got a steal. It's good. See if we get that lucky king. Great's not going to get us there. There's no pair in it. We have to play a four of a kind. One of our kings. He's hunting. I mean, a straight would get us out with Sock and Buskin. More than likely. I just want to see if we can get... Okay. This will get us out for sure with Sock and Buskin. Yeah, almost certainly. Wow, or really? maybe not. <laughs> oh, boy, that shocked me, too. Uh, All right. We had nine. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, we need nine. Uh oh. Cinny be in trouble. Oh boy. Even then, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Yeah. Unfortunate, that run, man. That run really wasn't going anywhere. We had. There was way too much room for. There was. We did. We just didn't have anything in the. In in terms of the. Of the aces. Yeah, that polychrome sock and buskin, it's a nice start, but without a little bit of extra support, you know, something like the mouth in, uh, in particular. Probably probably not going to get through that. We do just... Frost is just on a roll here already. Let's go ahead and tune in with him and see how he's feeling. I should have used Talisman as well. This is a great start. Playing a flush sets your money to zero. Ooh. Yeah, I don't care. Only 16 bucks, though. <laughs> not a big deal. I, I I do not care about my money going to zero. Fool him. Yeah. 56% of the pile voted uh, for maybe Dumb I Dog to fool break for a million death, first. Actually. Eh, we, I think we're seeing... But we did have this guy Frost on the way here. Game, so. I, I would not be surprised to see Frost crack a mill on one of these plays. Still got uh, at least one Joker here that is uh, disposable as far as his long, Don't long term care. picture Minus is concerned. 16, and then immediately, plus one fucking billion. Yeah. Holy fucking shit! Yeah. <laughs> he's gaming. He's gaming, and he's gaming hard. No doubt. He's gaming, and he's gaming so fucking hard. It's true. It's true. He's not wrong. No, no word of a lie. Frost, absolutely. 
uh, off to the best start here so far. Although, we do see an ectoplasm in hand for Apollo up there in the top left. Mr. Dumb Dog. I do wonder... I assume, well, yeah, no, he's got no negatives so far, so he clearly hasn't popped an ectoplasm yet. I wonder, I imagine he'll probably want to try to sell the Trubador and the Juggler, although maybe not. Really, yeah, now that I think about it, any of those would be a fine negative. Negative smeared would be fantastic. Obviously, with the spade focus now, I'm thinking he's probably going to try to go that route, although I don't know how often he's been able to manipulate this deck so far. Just based on the hand we're seeing here, it looks like he's got a pretty even distribution of suits. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where he takes this. I, I, I like the play hanging on to the ectoplasm here. I feel like that's a smart call. Dan does have an interesting start going here as well. Okay, yeah, you know what? Not a bad looking start here for Dan at all. He's got himself a hack, which is absolutely a joker that I have underestimated up to this point. Uh, able to really pop off if you get a build that is uh, suited for it. And then he's grabbed himself a Wii Joker as well, which is a fun one. It's going to be giving him additional chips for uh, twos played. And it looks like he's already on his way to doing that. We'll go ahead and show you guys what's going on with that one here. This is the Wii Joker polychromed as well. So getting a little bit of value out of that. Dan with a juggler as well. Going to give him a little extra utility there. Decent start for him. Honestly, if he can start building around this, this is the kind of foundation that you can uh, feel pretty good about. He's just got to make sure he's playing as many twos as possible as those uh, those chips are going to add up real quick on that, on that Wii Joker, and he's looking to try to maximize that value. Looking back down Cine V's way again, you can see he's grabbing himself a polychrome mime along with the ice cream and the duo to try to get a little bit of scoring help early on here. Polychrome Mime, absolutely something you can build around. The Mime can go so many different directions. You can absolutely uh, form a uh, late-game build centered around that. He's going to be a little bit more focused as far as what he's looking for. Something like the baseball card, for example. I think with Mime, you're probably not going to want to grab, especially for eight of your $9 at the moment. He's thinking about it, though. Yeah, he does decide to go for it. He's, I mean, of course, if he finds any other uncommons over the next few shops, it's going to give him a much better situation. But at the moment, only the 1.5x off the mime here, which, you know, he's, he's scoring pretty well at this point. I think he's going to be fine to get into the next few shops. He's just going to have to try to look for uh, more compatible things at the moment. That is an 800k for Frost. Yes, 828 is going to put him well in the lead at the moment. Frost has managed to grab a Brainstorm here as well. I didn't see when he grabbed that, but that's exciting for Frost for sure. Brainstorm absolutely going to be one of those rare jokers that the players are going to have a very tough time passing up in any, any given situation. The ability to copy the ability of the leftmost joker in pretty much any build is going to be outstanding. Hanging Chad still got the tribe, but he's now swapped off his uh, his his diamond Joker for the Bloodstone, which is going to give him a lot more score now, of course. And it looks like he's going to be a lot less concerned about his economy now too. Pops the Immolate there, which makes a lot of sense. He had no hearts in hand, so he was looking to try to thin the deck to get uh, a little bit more focused. Grabs a Death card here too, which I wonder if maybe he's thinking about going ahead and just turning one of these additional cards into hearts. Yeah, the scoring here. Obviously, he's going to be relying on the flush to get the big points with the level 18 flush. Yeah, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Big scores coming in already for Frost, though, man. Look at that. Just shy of 3 million. Frost clearly the, uh, the player to beat early on here. 20 minutes in now, almost anyway. We haven't seen too much by way of uh, good foundation so far outside of, of course, the Frost that we just got done explaining. A few resets early on for our other three competitors. Dan, unfortunately, uh, tossing that polychrome opportunity from before. A brutal learning experience, but has managed to right the ship a little bit here with that Wee Joker hack play and got a Golden Joker along with a walkie-talkie in the mix now to Add a little bit of extra economy and scoring here for him. He does have the needle, though. Let's see how he handles this. He 
He's intense. He's focused. I love to see where's it. Where's our tens and where's our fours? We do have quadruple spectral deck again today. Yeah, not too, not too big of a surprise there. Clearly the player's favorite. And with good reason. Another big score from what Frost is this? down there. Another what three point four mil. What even is this game? <laughs> no, we played the four. We Daniel, won. we would have won. Oh, that's we should have played the man. four. That's a shame. That's a rough. It's okay, blow. it wasn't our time. That wasn't the run that was supposed to take us to the promised land. And that's that's the classic Dan attitude right there. Down but not out, without a doubt. Taking a peek down at Cine V here, you can see he's clearing these early antis pretty easily. He's got himself that uh, baseball card still. Hasn't managed to find any other uncommons to fuel it yet. Still rocking the ice cream as well, which of course is losing value as he goes here. He's hovering over that green joker. Always a bit of a gamble, the green joker. The additional molt per hand play, but does lose molt for every discard. So you're kind of banking on finding the right hands early on if you grab that. Does pass it. Can't blame him for that choice. Now going up against the mark, which thankfully for him shouldn't really matter all that much. Although, sadly, he doesn't really have any kind of particular focus here. With the with the help from the ice cream and the duo, I imagine he's probably going to be able to pass this mark without too much issue. But beyond that, might run into some problems. That's a smart use of that grim spectral card to give himself a guaranteed full house here with the aces and tens. Does opt to just play the three of a kind. That's going to be more than enough to clear the mark, and Cine V's on his way. We got a negative uh, voucher, it looks like. Or sorry, what is the uh, the punch card, I think? Can't remember what that one's actually called. But uh, yeah, we got a negative punch card up there for Apollo, which I believe he might have had that before I, th I, th I i swear he had a negative loyalty card that's the one i think he had a negative loyalty card in the round on tuesday that he i think eventually even opted to sell if i remember right which of course it's not it's not an incredible card to have but certainly helps every now and then the times four molt every six hands played Especially if you can get into the uh, ludicrous situation of being able to play six hands per round, which I think can happen. If I recall correctly, I'm fairly sure there's there's vouchers that'll get you up to six hands. At any rate, though, you know, I'm sure he's happy to have that. Still hanging on to the Troubadour up there as Apollo, too. Very curious to see how long that'll stick around. My bad, I'm, I'm searching for jokers here as we go. Ah, oh, we got uh, spare trousers down there for Cine V as well. That's going to help him out. Not only is that going to start building Molt off his two pairs, but it also uh, adds a little bit more value to his baseball card. Additional 1.5x multiplier off the Uncommon there. That's pretty nice. Dan could have just had six hands per... Okay, yeah, well, there you go. The uh, The... Opportunity is there. Apollo's just got to get lucky with the vouchers on offer and obviously have the money for it as well, which as a result of the Ox, it looks like the economy is going to be a bit of a struggle here for Apollo for a moment. Let's uh, let's tune in with him and uh, listen to his thought process for a bit. Awesome. Sick. Does grab a hieroglyph there. That's a great find for him. I just don't understand. Okay. Do I have a chariot? Just, just straight no. up. Yeah, no, me too, buddy. I have death, which I guess I could do this with death, maybe. Or maybe I, uh, I just do this, I guess. At this point, I don't even know anymore. And then hangman some bullshit. Oh, I can get a death card back now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Now I won't fucking miss it. Look at these red seal tens. Now I won't miss it. Look at this deck. I didn't draw any. Emulate this shit. Oh, baby. Free 20 bucks. Okay, so clearly... This actually might be a really high score. Not clearly like Apollo has been building this deck well. 
Oh, wow. Hey. I mean, we scored a quick mill, I guess. Cleared a milli. There we go. Second player to clear the million uh, uh, point mark is Dumb Dog. As he has uh, begun to craft this deck to his to his liking. Does pass up on the driver's license pretty quickly. He's clearly got a focus on the way that he wants to take this. And it is working out for him. Frost, meanwhile, all the way up to Annie 9 now. Let's see how this scores. Okay, this guy does have his invisible now, though. The worst one is hanging Chad. <laughs> oh, he set it up. <laughs> Classic tee up. Well, it's a bummer it's for still Frost. Fine. It's still okay. Like I'm not, like I'm not pissed off at it. Just like it was the worst one. Yeah, no, he absolutely was hoping for the brainstorm there, but uh, you know, nothing was really terrible ultimately. <laughs> we really need some strike cards. <clears throat> yeah, it's a classic invisible Joker too, for sure. Dusk is insane. Dusk is pretty good. Cavendish there too. Although I don't know if that's necessarily the route he wants to go now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I, I I can't find another sun, right? Oh, no, we had a reset from Apollo. I missed it. Oh, that was looking so good. What happened? We got a reset from Danny or Daniel as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame, man. Oh, spades were debuffed. That'll do it. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a brutal boss. Man, that was happening a lot on Tuesday, too. We saw a lot of pretty decent builds get hard countered by boss blinds on Tuesday, man. That's rough. And then he gets the goat again immediately just to rub it in his face. All right, so we got some early resets going on from Apollo again. We got Dan trying to restart here. Get something cooking. Meanwhile, Cinny V down here in the bottom right actually starting to get something going. He's got a Vagabond as well. Going to be able to generate some additional tarot card value off this next... Or off these next few hands. Still building up the spare trousers. Let's see what he's got to say. In pure gamer mode. Full card. See now, now we could have taken campfire. Campfire would actually be legitimately worth it now. So, why? Let's not use. Death card. No steel card, unfortunately. Yeah, this is rough. This is real rough. Give me magician. Give me give me a lucky queen. So this is only one hand type now. We did get our king. Oh, city be um, up against the mouth again. I mean. Hmm. Let's see here. Is this gonna be enough? Chance it on the full house. It does have a steel card in hand now. This is going to be our biggest hand of the tournament so far. It should be enough. At least the one I'm seeing here. I think it, I think it ought to clear. There we go. Oh, yeah. No problem. Hey, we got a Hermit card. Hermit's very good for Cine V as well. Usually one to be struggling with the economy. Get a quick 10 bucks out of that. Okay, so finally we get something that can go with Mime here with uh, Shoot the Moon. Unfortunately, it's a it's a common. Ooh, goes for the reroll surplus. Does have vagabond, so it we makes do sense. Something though. It's gonna I have think to get we rid can of get something. Get rid of. Uh, I think we can get rid of the duo. Got to be the duo. Got to be the duo. I know duo it's an there. uncommon, but like we need to get something done here. We're gonna we're gonna get steamrolled. Fully agree with that play. Ooh, temperance. temperance. Also really good. Sin getting kind of bailed out by this shop, actually. 
Yeah, I mean, that gives us some extra money. There we go. Hallucination, man. Of course, we start getting all these. We start getting all these great campfire jokers after we've gotten rid of campfire. It's always how it be. Ooh, we got Frost starting to score pretty big here. Look at this. Look at this. We did lose our Jack though. Oh seven. Cracked a Jack, but no matter. Seven hundred and forty mil. Frost, the runaway favorite early on. Diamond dog. Ooh, bold. You gotta be bold if you wanna win. Level 22 flush is kind of outrageous. That's the fucking strength that we wanna see, baby. Holy shit. Holy shit ass. Ooh. Looking up top left, though. Clearly Frost doing quite well, but we got an interesting startup here for Dumb Dog. The double polychrome ramen with blueprint Blueprints, blue, blue, blueprints and the blind good, the skip is we need other stuff to go with it my goodness uh, i respect it that's wild i do want this rerolls cost less am i gonna do i have enough time i can buy it next i'm gonna buy this hopefully there's a temperance oh you love to see that that is just something you love to see that that's in the category of loving to be seeing that hmm. love to see that Yet again, Don't Apollo is just playing at a breakneck pace. So we're set up to get something here, but this also could be bait if we don't get anything good soon. Two Arcana packs is really nice. We'll start with the smaller one. Let's see the legendary. Can we get some Bear Colton chat it's to summon crash. a legendary it's for Apollo? And bad. Just do this. I should have. I should have used the Moon card. I fucked that. That was a. There we go. Soul. Ah, no luck. Temperance. I might chariot here to get started. Uh no, money's stronger right now. I don't Agreed. know what I have yet. Agreed. Don't be don't get baited. That was almost me getting baited. There's bloodstone. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Ooh, okay, okay. Um Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Earn one dollar for each nine left in your deck. Do I want that instead of this? Do I die if I sell throwback? Uh let's not let's not get risky. Let's not get risky. Let's, let's play it safe. How many uncommon jokers we have? They're all uncommon. Ooh. Well, now that's better than throwback. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Okay. And now we want to probably copy that, too. Okay, so Apollo all of a sudden, out of nowhere, has got himself a set of five jokers that's going to probably be able to carry him through at least like any six. This is fantastic. I think Apollo now can uh, focus a lot harder on uh, deck construction. Obviously, any discards like those, for example, are going to be pretty devastating to his uh, Joker's performance. But as you can see, yeah, no, these these early antis with a build like this, a cakewalk. Needle is nothing. He can focus pretty hard now on economy and deck construction, and he's going to be in a good spot moving forward. Speaking of being in a good spot, how about Dan Giesling with the... Oh, I jinxed him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I really thought that was looking good, man. Damn. Oh, it's a shame. All right. That'll be a reset for Daniel. Does skip for the rare Joker again. We'll see what he can get from that one. Meanwhile, meanwhile. <laughs> Bloodstone, you fucking bitch. Whoa. Clearing a Billy <laughs> and upset. It's Frost Prime. Fuck that you, ought Bloodstone. to be an indication of uh, of what he's capable of here. This is honestly crazy. The fact that Frost is already on a run this good. He's got himself Cavendish as well. For an easy times three malt. Frost in a good spot. Oh, that's so risky. Oh, but I want to press it. Ooh, but I want to press the button. And oh my goodness, I think I just realized he oh, got a negative on that brainstorm, didn't he? Oh, wow. All right, Frost. Looking good here. He skips Campfire. Campfire is not good. Nice try, though, guy. Campfire slander, nice too. Nice try, guy. Um, I want to put this Deja Vu on a steal, maybe. 
No, we probably just want to go for more bloodstone procs, right? Yo, you were the raid. So many raids today. Everybody's so fucking supportive. <laughs> Holy shit. I just got to see what this is going to score now. We're going north of a billy here. We're staying tuned in. This is a heck of a build, man. Yeah, he's going for the big glass red seal play. Polychrome oh, on that fuck. glass jack Wait. as well. Jeez. <laughs> I have to play it. Jeez, dude. Oh, these cards, no. these seals. How did he got so many red seals in this deck? No, it's fine. No, we'll be all right. In the 36 card deck okay. as well. Frost has been perfectly crafting this so far. Wait, I should have done this if I was going to go for it. That's fine. Just one more trigger. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Get my break, goodness. <laughs> wow. The bar continues to be raised Re exponentially. Reroll slot. Incredible start Yo, here bro. for Frost. And that'll put him well in the lead. No one even close at the moment. We get Apollo with an invisible Joker up there as well. Hit the negative on his three of a kind Joker, so bit of a miss there. Meanwhile, Cine V down here still rocking this mine two pair build. Still got the Vagabond generating that tarot card value as well. Smiley face, a hollow smiley face at that. Looking pretty nice. Apollo's still working on that deck construction. You can see him cracking those tarot's up there. He's still just trying to turn this into something that's going to be able to take full advantage of the build he's got going on. More than likely going for a lot of hearts. He's looking to crack this invisible joker now. Let's see what he gets. A copy is the question. I don't think we're going to... I don't think I need Pluto anymore. I think we're pretty set on flush five kind of deck that's a steel king but no red seal i'm gonna take another this because i think the value's there um what do i not want to copy i don't want to copy lusty i don't want to copy wiling i don't want to copy baseball i think i sell everything and or do i Ooh. wait one more because i don't need to do it yet that's true you could wait maybe i don't need to do it yet maybe, maybe see something better here. in the next shop I'm gonna, we're going to wait till there's a good Joker in the shop. We have no reason to, to be too aggressive here. That's fair. That's fair. I like the play. Frost did sell Cavendish. Now, that's a bold choice. I think I get it, though. And I honor, that's probably the right call. Sells Cavendish for Showman. Gives him a chance, albeit a very small one, of grabbing another Bloodstone, another Brainstorm, another Dusk. Any of those three, if you were to see in the shops coming up here, would be unbelievably good. So it does make a lot of sense. And not to mention, he doesn't need that 3x, man. That's like, that's kind of like the, the argument we were making for the tribe earlier, where that's, you know, it's nice early, but it's not going it's not gonna get you the distance we're looking to go today. We're on 1.0 still here, Avian. Yeah, the 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 1.0.1 update is it's looking like it's going to be better for competitive play to be honest with you although you know this is you know hardly competitive play this is this is a friendly at best but uh yeah i i, I opted to just stick with the uh the main 1.0 branch for today thought it would be a lot easier for everybody all right apollo is making that big play and has cloned his blueprint we got a double blueprint bloodstone run for apollo gets the negative bloodstone as well and grabs himself a loyalty card, the trading card as well, and a dusk. Wow. Wow. And just like that, Apollo is looking good. Off? Okay, okay. That's fantastic. Red Seal. Red Seal! Oh, ho, ho, ho. what okay. a shot for dumb dog. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. What a okay. shot okay. for okay. dumb oh dog. God. That oh was, no. uh, that was fantastic. Here? I don't think he could have asked for a better result from that. Wow. Don't care. Don't care. Um, be a little risky here. We don't want a world card. So here's the thing about this build for Apollo. I didn't draw a heart. That's fine because 
First of all, we thank you, Raiders. Sure Welcome, everybody. Anyway, this is scary for him. Yeah, this is still let's be safe and one blueprint, one dusk, probably. If we're looking, I think so. I think he right. should be okay. I think with this I flush, he'll be all correct. right. But he doesn't have a no ton of scoring from these jokers right now. King. We actually are using those. Uh, and then we just play, and this looks good to me, right? This should be insane. We'll see how it goes. He's got to get lucky with the bloodstones. Okay, so he's getting enough bloodstones. All right, so he's good to go. I was going to say, it's a lot of... Okay, 600 It's a lot of luck going on getting, here, but if he gets a few, he'll be fine. Before we're yeah. even remotely at risk of losing. All right, so that's a good start for Apollo, those, clearly. Plus... Looking good. Speaking of looking good. Oh, my God, look at this hand for Frost. And the extra procs of the lucky, right? Obviously, glass first is better. I'm not... We're not discussing that. Right now, we are simply discussing... Is it better to do flush house over playing flush five or playing our flush? Oh man, if that's the kind of debate you're having, How you're in a good spot. Is this better than that. It only takes two plus hey, twos. Google, crunch the numbers on that one. <laughs> this is what we have AI for. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I just don't. I just don't. Do I want to start seeing flush five in the planets? Yeah, I would like to see that if all of these didn't break. Six versus 50. It's not six versus 50. It's 14. But the also, the other big one is the other side of the equation is like a times three. Ooh, is that true? Uh-oh. I didn't realize that. Upcoming boss blind for Apollo hearts debuff. That, uh, that might be an issue. I was going to sell his loyalty card for a smiley face, trying to get in a little bit of additional molt off of that, cracking another Arcana pack in the hopes of finding that soul card. No luck so far. Taking a peek back up at Dan. We've been trying to let him cook a little bit. He's He's been, unfortunately, uh, not getting a lot of great starts in the first hour here so far. Comes across a polychrome mime of his own, though. Which, as we were mentioning before, mime, absolutely a joker that you can build around. Something uh, that's going to be able to provide you a lot of outs. Hopefully Dan can manage to find some additional held in hand abilities here in his next shops. Meanwhile, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Frost. None of them broke, baby. And none of them broke. Oh my. And we got a Showman Plus. Oh. <laughs> showman Plus, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay, what does he do? He's got to get it, right? He has to. He absolutely has to. This could go wild right now. Yep. You got to do it. You got to do it. Oh, man. Oh, no. It's not even fair. Oh, it's not fair. We need strength. We need a strength card. We need a strength card what now. What on earth? We need earth? a strength card right fucking now. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need. We need fucking strength cards, man. Where's my goddamn strength? Fuck! It's the fool that could have been on a on a no. It could have been on a death. It would have been on death. It's not. It's, it wouldn't have been another thing. It would have been another thing that we wanted. It would, I, I trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. This this is this might be the biggest this, I've ever had in my entire goddamn life. I'm not even kidding you. I'm about to shit my pants. I'm about to. I, Chad, I'm about to poo poo. I'm about to poop all As over the place. As he should. This this I'm is to, unbelievable. I'm to, I'm to, I'm to, I'm to, any any shitters in chat? Any any little shitters? <laughs> I'm not playing you guys anymore. You're, You're not getting come. played. You're not getting played anymore. I don't care what you say. You're being saved. I'm not breaking you. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. I'm 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 so pumped for him right now. This is this is miracle stuff right now out of frost i think you even heard him say it. i would believe it if he said this is the best run he's ever had oh boy that is that is gonna already be tough to beat and we're not even seeing the results of it yet oh that is a reset for cine v down there in the bottom right as well unfortunately he was trying to get that spare trousers build going but it just wasn't just wasn't working out man it's just the way the, the cards fall sometimes you just don't get the jokers you need to keep building off of it He's going to get a quick reset in there. Dan's still rocking his polychrome mime up in the top right. 
Grab the misprint along with the uh, faceless Joker. Going to give him a little bit of economy out of that. And then I believe he's also got the uh, Queens in Hand Joker that we saw Sin Victo working with before. Sinny V grabs himself another Polychrome Mime. He's got an ectoplasm in the, sto in the shop as well. Doesn't grab it, which doesn't surprise me all that much, I suppose. It would have been his last $4 and doesn't have a lot of reason to grab it at the moment. Although it's a nice thing to have to hang on to for later, but can't blame him. Apollo's still cooking with his Bloodstone Dusk bill with the double blueprint up top. Not to mention, Apollo has now grabbed another invisible Joker. Wow. Oh, boy. I'm... I'm kind of crossing my fingers for a triple blueprint build up there for dumb dog as uh that could go pretty crazy too especially now that he's got that red seal he's looking to he's looking to get cooking up there as well he's got did, did he clear that that hearts boss already or is there is that one coming up because if that's still in his path that's going to be a big issue as we still recognize the fact that he's not really built anything besides those hearts. The smiley face will help a little bit, but at this point, scoring 30k, or probably a little more than that. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Does clone another Tarot Seal King there. And trying to get bailed out from that as well. I want to hear uh, how Dan's mental is going at the moment. I want to check in and see if he's still as I expect him to be. Just as confident as ever. All right, here we go. Queens Boulevard. Come on, we need a good negative. We need the kind of negative that got kicked off of Seinfeld. Well, we here just we go. have the negative tag. That's not it. Not uh, terrible. It's not terrible. Again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I grabbed that ancient for sure. The negative supernova, I guess. Should wow, 11 mil for dumb dog. Oh my. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's got the potential. It's just okay. We gotta tell you what. Let's go ahead and tune into dumb dog real quick. Let's go ahead. In fact, we'll make this dramatic. We're gonna give D dumb dog the full screen here, as I believe he's about to go up against that hearts boss. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm worried for him here right now. Okay. All heart cards are debuffed. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I got to recapture real so quick. So what do we want to do here? We obviously want to discard any debuffed cards. Do I just want to play the club flush? I think I just want to play the club flush, right? That's the safest thing to do. I have those glass fives. I need to hunt for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just discard all of this. Do I want to discard this too? I think he's in trouble here, man. I mean, let's just see what we draw. Plenty of discards. It's not looking good. Okay, we have the club flush. We have three face cards. That should be enough, right? Let's find out, I guess. We can discard this now too and see what we get. Star is useless. I mean, I could star some of the glass kings, but we don't want to do. We don't want less of those. So I think we just keep playing shit. Let's just play down now. Still want to draw that good one just to be safe. Can't imagine his straight flush has been leveled all that much. It is a straight flush, but that might be worse than our flush. He's going to say, yeah, he... That might be bad. No that might be bad flush. for him. Oh, no. Um, when the straight flush is a bad is thing. Good. I think we're fine, right? I don't know if we're fine. We I don't either, man. I'm worried. I want to make sure. We have an hour. I want to make sure this is correct. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Take your time. I could death the king for an extra face card because yeah. I think flush is worth more, right? Let me look. I mean, you got to death the jack if you're going to death something 60, here. No, my oh, yeah, no, my flush is 65 times 8. It is worth less. Yeah, no doubt. So. Oh, wait, no. Extra... Oh, the straight flush is worth more. At the flat value? One, wow, with a five level difference. I didn't expect that. Sheesh. I don't know. Huh, okay. Ooh, that makes it even harder then. 
It's an extra 12 mold. No, I think with the with, with the but smiley face, the with the we're bonus jack. Chips. 35 chips. I do think... Does hmm. this score? I, I I don't know. I can I can math it out. We have time to math it out. I'm I mean, yeah, I can do the calculations, them. literally. No yeah, shots. go for it. So I Meanwhile, have time to math this out. Meanwhile, as he's doing that, we're going to go ahead and head back to our main view. As don't want to miss out on the action here as Frost is still going absolutely crazy. This deck has not stopped being bonkers down there in the bottom left. Looks like we got another reset down there for City V. Unfortunately, couldn't get the second Polychrome Mime to work out for him. We do still have a Polychrome Mime up top there for Dan. Got himself a negative abstract, too, which is certainly not bad. That's going to be some additional flat molt that'll carry him through a few antis. It's not going to be all that helpful in the long term, but that'll be, that'll be something to get in cooking for now, at least. All right. We're going to be seeing another play from Frost pretty soon here. We'll tune in on him, and uh, once he's got that high-scoring hand ready to play, we'll, we'll all pog up together. Meanwhile, I believe Apollo's actually doing some math up there. And I can't blame him one bit. Definitely a, a situation in which he should make damn sure he's not going to miss out on this build. Because this build is pretty special for him up top if he can manage to get past the head here. Dan with another negative. Let's see what he gets. Negative Mr. Bones. That's, I mean, it's an extra life. For 10 bucks, it's kind of a, kind of an expensive extra life, but an extra life all the same. Grabs the extra hand voucher there as well. So some nice utility there for Dan, although not a lot to help him with the scoring long term here. See if he can get lucky off the Arcana pack. Nothing great. A chariot card will be nice at least. That is pretty good, in fact, with his queen joker, I just realized. Yeah, that's a pretty nice pretty nice chariot to get the additional value off that. But uh, nothing crazy so far for Dan, unfortunately. He's still trying to craft that deck around Ancient Joker at the moment as well, I imagine. As, or as well as uh, getting a bunch more queens in there, too. And he gets himself an egg for some additional value. All right, then. We got two of four players in the finals here are, are giving this a lot of thought. Two very good-looking builds so far. One absolutely ridiculous build at the moment in the form of Frost. Let's see how this scores here. It looks like he's about to play his big hand. We, we, we just have to, which is fine. That's okay. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. Looks like Apollo was opted to death that jack after all. Should we glass the queen then? Just for funsies. Should we just glass the queen? Why not? At this point, right? Here he goes. That was a plus 20. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. Can I get an E in chat? E! Frost Prime. In his prime. And absolutely crushing it so far. Apollo cleared it! Oh, that's big. Right about at the same time there, it looks like Apollo just barely cleared that heart blind. Wow. Or that heart boss. Oh, this is big time for him. All right. We're going to get a DNA for Apollo as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, roll. I don't know. What do we even care about? None of this. None of this, fuck, none of this fucking matters. Still has that invisible, too. Okay. Everything's chill again. All diamond cards are debuffed? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I want to copy the Glass Kings, but they're not red seals. You got to so get the I red seals, yeah. You've got to start copying the red seals here, no doubt. Se we do have a red seal. It's the wrong suit, though. We need a sun card. Mm. We currently need a sun card, right? Yeah, there it is. We need a sun card. 
Um, Very so true. So we want to discard these. Let's be safe and discard all the garbage first. Oh my god, Frost has a cryptid um, and a strength now? Good I discard lord. One of them? Hangman's fine. So now um, Frost with that cryptid card is going to be able to create two additional copies of any given card in his deck. The strength card is going to be able to increase the rank of any two cards in the deck. Of course, going to be able to turn jacks into queens. So that's outstanding for him. And a sock and buskin. Oh, oh my God. How does this even get better at this point? This is this is absurd. We got the sock and buskin now available in the shop for Frost, which is going to re-trigger all played face cards. Unbelievable. What is most exciting about this, though, is the fact that Apollo is actually on his way to something that could contend with this. He's not there yet, but he's he's got the foundation for it. He's He's on his way. If that invisible cracks on the right thing, especially. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if there's a bad, besides DNA, I guess, which is clearly why he's hanging on to it for now. He doesn't want to clone that, but yeah, this is, uh, wow. Yeah, I got to imagine you just sell Hanging Chad here, right? That's That's got to be it, because you, uh, assumedly, you're going to be able to play full sets of five face cards each hand. I'm wondering what he's debating here. Let's listen in. Retriggers are better than this only because we have Retriggers better only because we have a glass a glass polychrome. So it's better. Valid Brox doesn't prox proc red seal again. No. And it's more retriggers for the bloodstone. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's goodbye to you. Yeah, sure. That makes sense too. It was one of the. It was one of the two. It was either photograph or hanging chat. Or like yeah, wiener that, POV. That works out. Say for sure. that again. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> right, while he's while he's threatening chat, we'll bounce off of him for a little bit here, as we're three minutes away from the halfway point, man. So clearly, Frost looking good here, but it's still anybody's game. With I mean, this all happened within the first fifty minutes, so it's entirely possible that Sinvicta or Dan or Apollo, a.k.a. Dumb Dog, is able to put together a competitive build here. Uh, that being said, just out of curiosity real quick, a, a, a type in chat poll, who do you think is going to take this home at this point between Dumb Dog, Dan Giesling, Frost Prime, and Sinvicta? Ooh, we got a holographic DNA on Dumb Dog as well now. Some nice additional value out of that. He's almost certainly eventually going to get rid of that DNA, I have to assume, but certainly appreciates the extra little boost from that for now. Love the Dan. Love the Dan love. Sin is still being fueled primarily by spite, I recognize as well. Yeah, he he was he was feeling slighted by the lack of support in the votes early on. But I still believe. I still believe in Cine V. He's got himself a rare tag down there, too. Let's see if maybe he can get a stronger start this time around. Dan with just a smattering of jokers up there. Triple negative is Dan yet again. He's got himself that negative abstract, the negative supernova. Speaking of supernovas, it looks like we got a supernova landing on, a, on Frost Channel right now. Bloodstone shows up for Dan. He's going to go ahead and pass up on that one. Hanging on to a cryptid as well up there. Okay, so he's, he's he's cooking a little bit. Dan's got a couple buns in the oven. Ah, there's a sun card for Apollo. That's what he was looking for. Oh, thank you. Proper poll there as well, Jax. Appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead and vote in the actual proper chat poll. Another red seal for Apollo too. Oh, he's got to love that. He's going pretty deep on the rerolls here, which I can't blame him. I think he's at the point where he's pretty specialized. He's looking for very particular things, so any opportunities to get those are going to be more than welcome. I think he's he's going to be fine on his economy here, especially with the temperance card in hand. Yeah, he's got no issues there. What does Dusk do? I'm glad you asked, because it gives me an opportunity to use my little transition thing here. Here's a little explanation for Dusk. He's going to re-trigger all played cards in the final hand of the round, which, of 
course, for builds like Frost are just going to be bonkers in value. Need to get a Dusk up there for Apollo as well, of course. And we have reached the halfway point. One hour remains here in the finals of Bear Taffy's Bellatro Brawl. Let's go ahead and jump in with competitors in their channels and see how they're feeling. Dan. Yo. We're an hour in. How you doing? You know what? It was it was like dry, flying a plane made out of paper with no wheels. We couldn't get it off the ground, <laughs> but now that we're getting off the, the ground, it's starting to cook a little bit. We're we got here's what we got. We got a little we got a little poly mime, but the play yep. is here. Um, we're going Steel Queen Marty's because we've got uh, mime and shoot the moon. Yes. That's the plan. Yes. I like Whether it. Whether it's good or not, depends if you got aura in your back pocket because we got it. Let's go. I like it. All right. Best of luck, buddy. All right. See ya. Apollo. That's really bad. Oh, hello. You got to be feeling good about clearing that hard boss. I was uh, terrified. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was scary. Uh, got it by 1,000. But now you got yourself something that is looking pretty damn good. You're going gonna... to. It... Sorry, it is, but the boss I just got is not great. Oh, I missed it. What do you got now? Uh, it's jokers are all flipped and wacky and everything. Ooh, mm, yeah, that might be a little, little iffy. All right. Well, but, you certainly have the the foundation to to go pretty far here, though. So hopefully we can avoid the hard counters from the boss blinds from here on out. I'm hoping. I'm here's hoping. All right. Best of luck, man. Thank you. Okay. There's that. Frost. You here to celebrate. I mean, almost. It's it, it's not quite it's not quite premature declaration time, but holy shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> first run of the day, too. Yeah, this was the you you haven't reset once, have you? No, that's crazy. All right, well, I that's mean, uh, you you don't need much luck wish from me, honestly. We're just kind of hoping to see how high the number can go at this point, man. This is absurd. So, best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cindy V. There, Taffy. We are an hour in. How are you feeling so far? Uh, pretty good. I think that uh, I've been getting unduly unlucky draws for the yes. Jokers. Yes. No, I, I was I was going to offer you my my deepest sympathies for the way the store has been treating you so far. No doubt. Yeah, it's been it's been real bad. But you know what? We're not going to make excuses. We're uh, we're in it to win it. And uh, if that if that means that we got to go towards the buzzard, you know what? We're gonna make the big time plays, coach, and just uh, and just go for the dub. Hell yeah, man! You know what? You got a full hour basically left, and that anything can happen. I mean, we've we I'll, I'll give you a quick score update here. So we've got uh, Dan is currently rocking a fifty six k. Hasn't really been able to get too much cooking yet. Uh, okay. Dundog managed an eighty three million, although he is almost certainly going to be clearing that with the build he's currently on. Probably getting up into the billies at least there. Uh, and Frost's currently sitting at a high score of E17. Okay. So bar's been raised a little bit as far as the top position is concerned, but you got, again, like we said, we got half the tournament left, so best of luck, man. Thank you, Bear. Sounds like confidence levels are, you know, well, one, one guy's feeling pretty good, obviously, but everybody else feeling like they still got a shot at this. I love to hear that. We'll send some bear luck Cine V's way. Yeah, see if we can maybe get him a couple of extra decent jokers to get him rolling. Do you have the amber acorn, as Apollo said? Coming up there for dumb dog in the top left. Hopefully he's going to be able to clear that and keep this incredibly strong run going. Dan feeling good about this uh, shoot the moon situation as well. That's, that's a joker that I struggle to cook with. I'm not going to lie. The... Uh, Additional 13 molt for each queen held in your hand. I mean, uh, just on description alone, it's it's obviously pretty strong, but it's also just a... Uh, oh, God, never mind. E25. What on earth? Man. <laughs> I wonder if he's ever scored this high. I I would be shocked because that is nuts. The fact that he's doing this with only six jokers, too. I mean, like, typically in a build like this where you're scoring this high, you imagine you get at least a few negatives involved with that. But, oh, man. 
This is his highest score he's ever gotten. That oh, what a time to do it, huh? That's pretty remarkable. We do have another reset down there for Cinevy on the bottom right, unfortunately. He has grabbed himself a double shop tag, though. It's going to make his next two shops free. So get some good value out of that, at least. He does have the negative brainstorm. Yeah, that's, that's obviously a big part. But oh, my God, I just realized the idol. What? What? Seeded run. Seeded run. Wait, just these, these. <laughs> oh my oh man that is uh okay so for Another those who cherry. are uh okay. poop for the unfamiliar um this is the idol each played card uh that okay so the way the idol works it chooses randomly from a it's card that you have in your deck this, every round the idol always stays on a card in your deck yes so it will commonly hit the things that we like. Um, but I want to chariot one of the kings because it has red seal, right? So it's what it's a bit of a luck want, of the draw so on we idol. Those queens. Unless he's managed to uh, whittle his deck down to a single card. And at that point, idol, I believe this is the way that idol works because I believe this is also the way that the uh, ancient joker works is that it will only pull from things in your deck. It just it doesn't just like pull a random card. So if he can get it to the point where he's got exclusively the kings and queens of hearts and obviously the red seals and the lucky and the polychrome and all that other stuff, that's going to that's going to be ridiculous. Oh, ancient does pull from all suits. Okay. I got conflicting info on that then. I, I could have sworn somebody told me that it was only the suits that you had in your deck. But idol does work that way, right? Okay. So that is uh that is insane. That is absolutely perfect for, for Frost here. Somehow it got even freaking better. All right. It's Amber Acorn time for Dumb Dog. So we know this isn't... Oh, wait. What's flashing? Invisible Joker and DNA are both flashing. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This is the copied blueprint. So this is Blueprint. Okay. That's helpful. Um, we know one of these is DNA. We know one of them is... I did draw the card. Oh. I want to try to copy DNA. I can figure out which is DNA. Let me go ahead and just hang man some shit before I think too far. You think the first one is Invis? Second ship, why do you think that? They just feel that way. Um, we want to... Oh, but it, this might break. This could break. Yep, yep. Let me Emperor first. Now nah, we're on 1.0, Deathbird. Dan really does have quite the smattering of Jokers up there. Yeah. Copy. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I like his little assortment. Okay, so we play this. We figure out which one is DNA at least, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, we yeah. also figure out, keep an eye out. We'll figure out which one, like, the other bloodstones and shit are. I should slow the speed down. How much time do I have? 50 minutes? That's still a lot of time. Dude, Apollo is gaming. This, so. Considering every speed. possible varial, or variable, slowing the game speed down so we can analyze the way the Jokers score this play. Move something else in case you can blueprint twice. My what? man came to win. Oh, you mean like this, just in case I have my other blueprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, I didn't realize I had my Joker thing there. I see what you're saying. Actually, yeah, no, I should do this. That way, guaranteed, something's getting blueprinted. Okay, let's keep an eye out. Ah, wrong one. Okay, so we know this is invisible, this is DNA. Oh, did lose the king. Is. So, nothing procced, which sucks. The blueprint is hollow, right? So, this is blueprint, this is blueprint. One of these is bloodstone, and one of these is dusk. So, this is fine. No, this works. Then we're, we got it, right? It's turned into a puzzle game for him now. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um... Cool. 
Okay. Uh... Yeah, sure. Give me more of these. All right. Looks like Apollo's probably got this then. I think he managed to solve the uh, conundrum here. Meanwhile, down there, bottom right. Okay, so we finally we finally have something good. <laughs> it's not okay. Let's let's not use the word good even to be honest with you. We finally have something workable for Sinvicta down here in the bottom right. He's grabbed himself a hiker, which is at least going to give him a little bit of uh, progressive value here, as he's going to be adding uh, four chips to each card played permanently when they're scored. He's also got himself a Mystic Summit over there on the. Uh, close to the far right of his group of jokers, which is going to give him a plus 15 molt flat for having zero discards left. And the obelisk there, which I was going to say, yeah, it's probably not one he's going to want to hang on to for very long. Uh, going to sell that as well for to get the certificate. Going to add in some seals to the deck. But now, zero dollars left in the economy. We'll see how he's able to go here. Apollo going to grab a temperance looking like, although he's got that death card again too, but opts for the money this time. At this point, I suppose Apollo, what is he looking for now? Obviously a brainstorm would go pretty hard for him here. Retriggers, I suppose. It's kind of similar uh, aim, I, I guess, to uh, what Frost has going on, except... Oh, no, yeah, no, it's, it's very similar, in fact. But what's easily more important is the stuff that he's got right now, for example, like the Cryptid. Strength cards could work out for him as well. Death cards, obviously, to be able to get even more of those Red Seal Kings. I think deck construction is still primarily what Apollo is focused on. But yeah, any any re-trigger options, anything like Seltzer exactly would be something that could help him out right now for sure. He's definitely already feeling pretty good about this. All right, let's listen in with Dan one more time here. Long term, here we go. It's Violet Vessel time. Does this have enough to clear? I certainly think so. Given the sheer volume of jokers he's got. Okay, we got a death something here, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Sure. Steel Queens on the right. I mean, this shoot the moon situation. There's, it's, it's weird because there's like, there's four or five jokers in Dan's allotment that are borderline meaningless. Tally the lucky. But shoot the moon on its own right now is doing real good. Why do they keep putting them there? Just given the amount of queens, steel queens specifically, he's managed to grab. Economy's looking good too. Got a hangman as well. You want to discard well. this for a nine? I was just saying, I wonder what his See what happens. hand levels are at at this point. There we go. Easy Violet Vessel clear for Dan. All right. Time to cook, man. Absolutely. Time to cook. Get to cooking, brother. E13. E13 for Apollo. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, well then. That gives us a lot more confidence about the resurgence of Dumb Dog. Trash. He's still hanging on to I this invisible. I my money a little bit here. Um, We've absolutely got a game. We've got ourselves a, t a, a tournament finals here. Okay. E21 for Frost. Play, play this. Not even his best. That's the kind of thing Frost is dealing with right now, where an E21 is mid. Discard, reorient jokers. Lovers Unreal. doesn't matter here, font doesn't matter. Discard. 
High Priestess kind of matters, look at this. actually. Look at this hand for Apollo now, too. We don't care about Ceres. It's totally useless to us. So is Pluto. Um, this dog is gaming. Yeah, discard you. Strength doesn't really matter. Um, go ahead and play shit like this. Like this. Ooh, baby. And then we discard two of these. Yep. Sure, strength you. Trying to go for more kings. Why not? Found one. I don't want to break too many of these, but at the same time, I don't think it really matters. We're making so many. All right. I hate relying on Bloodstone here, but... When it works, it works. That's life. Broke one. E11. Matter. Okay. Okay. That is promising, man. Let's uh, again. He's he's still got essentially two available Joker slots. Does Apollo? Although he is going to clone one he has, I suppose. So it's more than likely just the one. But still, I think he is closing in on the point where he could comfortably get rid of DNA as well. Obviously, he's waiting to find something to replace it with, but. At some point here, Apollo will be selling DNA, actually cracking that invisible Joker to turn it into either another blueprint dusk or a bloodstone. And then we just, it's, its you know, Sophie's choice really for him at this point. He's, he's going to be able to just add in whatever piece fits best. Kind of an interchangeable slot at that point. Man, that is exciting. Yeah, we. The, the, how about this for the finals, man? This is perfect. These two on absolutely killer runs. Frost still clearly in the best position at the moment, especially having gotten that idol. I mean, sheesh. I, I, honestly, I'm going to pull this up again in case you're just joining us to get a full understanding of what's going on there on the, on the bottom left side, uh, corner of your screen as we have a negative idol in hand for Frost where if that were to land on either the king or queen of hearts, these numbers can get real big down there. We do finally have something going on. I, I mean, I, I said this before, so I feel like I'm jinxing him at this point. But uh, down there in the bottom right, Cine V, it's, you know, it's not nothing. Got a hanging chat in there with an oops all sixes. We've got the scholar for the additional ace value, which I imagine he's kind of already building into. It looks like he's got six in the deck at the moment, so not too bad. Steel Joker as well. We get a Polychrome uh, Lusty there, I want to say. So he's looking for these hard flushes. We'll see how this scores. It's going to be enough to clear. Yeah, so he's got... He's got enough to get through the mid antes here. But yeah, it's it's unfortunately still been a matter of whether or not Sydney V is going to be able to find something to, to really start to build off of instead of, you know, the Jokers that help you get to this point. We do have Annie 10 already for Dan. See how he's feeling on this one. I don't think we want to buy this, do we? I don't think we want to buy this, right? We want playing cards? That's bait. Yeah, not really. Dan T10 plus Man. two. Man. Dan is in a rough spot here. All right, here's what we're looking for. We're currently cooking up something in the pot. We got the we got Timmy's voucher. We need Queens and Brant steals. The question is, do we want steel or do we want perp? Perp goes a long way. Purple seal and steel are better than Mars right now, but Mars is a 1.5x. Uh, por, por que no los dos? Let's take them both. See. Sí. In this town, we cook. All right. Oh, holy nines of Noria. This is why I think we want to perp a nine. Trust me. Hot. You gotta, you gotta live with your decisions in life. Amen, brother. And we're living with that. Kaiser Magusto, hang in here. We got a ch crack me. a cherry on that. Steal queen. me. Absolutely. Brand me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Double me up my money. money me. 
Magician me until luck me. See on the flip side me. Don't forget to move the steel queens to the right because it matters. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I think Dan. Right, here we go. We got money That's coming the in. Issue we got with this one, man. Is, uh, you know, we've, we've been kind of looking negative. at it this way the entire time. It's that shoot the moon. It's it's getting him there, but it's it's not going to be enough to get into the billions. You know, it's like he. he I think he's going to top off about like five or six mil, honestly, for this kind of build. So. Yeah, it's not looking good for him. He's going to need something like really transformative here over the next couple of shops. Speaking of which. Right? Oh, my goodness. I think it's time. I think he's about to crack this invisible. At least one of these two in the shop. That's, that's horrible, a double blood. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, any of them are going to be good. The other two are definitely better because they were at least going to be a guaranteed effect. Didn't, the I bloodstone mean, is more chances. Of it. Um, I had to do it. <sighs> what do I copy now? I don't know what to fucking copy anymore. Do I copy Tiki now if it hits? Hmm. Right now, we're also looking for ectoplasm. Now, ectoplasm has huge value. Yep. No doubt. I didn't Man. mean to do that. I thought I still had the other card. Whatever. I think, yeah, the more I think about it, I feel like that that invisible uh, turning into the bloodstone might have might have been a death knell for Apollo. I feel oh. like he, he needed the blueprint. But I don't know. Maybe, uh, it well, it's, it's difficult I to say. Know. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> There's so much chance going on. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Idol is cooking at the moment. What is his idol on? What is Frost's idol on? I think it's on his king, Chat, isn't it? I'm going to break. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Frost, if you didn't know, you can unselect all of your cards at once with right click. Yeah, I don't trust that. <laughs> and we get another steal. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to oh. blow my load. Oh, boy. Get ready. Oh, Holy get ready. Fuck. It's going to be big. This is the best hand we can have. After this, we go get some lunch. One's in chat if you were here. Oh man, this is this is about to go off. I, j I can't take my eyes off it. Hold up. If he's giving me a moment here. Everything's good. Full screen frost. Recheck, double check, double check, recheck. Full screen frost. Here we go. Big gaming moments. Slow it down to be more dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on game speed two. I like it. Hi YouTube. Oh baby. Oh baby. Do it. You tease, do it. Copy tribule, it's better. Better. It's not. Because when you re-trigger the cards, you're re-triggering glass in poly. That's more than times twos. And you're giving more chances for bloodstone to re-trigger. You're just Wrong! <laughs> You're wrong! <laughs> <clears throat> and we're also re-triggering the idol. You're so wrong. Fuck off. Oh, we got an E23 for Apollo. We did. Wow. I mean, Frost is going to clear that here easily, but that's awesome. Here we go. Apollo's on his way, though. I get some Bear Colton chat. Summon the big numbers. Let oh, you know goodness. Oh, goodness. Are good, but they couldn't cook like my streamer, the legend himself, Frost Prime. Holy shit. was born I was here I bore witness oh my god
That's unbelievable, dude. How many broke? Three of them. And I don't care. Yeah. I, I, I do not care. At this point, who cares? It doesn't matter, man. Wow. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Well, this is, yeah. Frost has played one run in this finals, and he's still on it. Which is equally unbelievable. All right, we got a big score coming out of Apollo here as well. Now, now it's Tiki RNG. Now it's gonna come Me out of Tiki RNG. Okay, Me fifteen. This round. Pretty That's good. Okay. That means we go back to this setup. Apollo got another. Oh my God! Dumb dog with a second invisible Joker. I can't believe that. Dumbo spectral. What are you gonna get? What do you got for me? I guess black hole. Yeah, here. might as well black hole, right? Should a hangman, but whatever. What could possibly bring it back for Apollo now? I mean, that's a good question. How much time do I got? 30 minutes. I'm getting a little low on time now. Dumb dog up here in our top left. Clearly our competitor most likely to uh, have a chance at this. Well, the hook is not a pro. Oh, uh, hook's kind of annoying to getting dusk. I mean, it was really like the invisible Joker was the kind of thing that he needed to find. He did sell his other bloodstone for it, it looks like, too, didn't he? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. He's trying to get a better crack this time. Dan has another negative tag as well. Dan about to be looking at 10 jokers in his build. That's pretty fun. Yeah, at this point, Apollo, I think... Yeah, it makes sense what he's what he's going for now. I think he's really just trying to like clone the Tiki or the Dusk. Get those extra triggers or maybe even get the extra molt off that. Which, of course, there's still RNG going on with Tiki. He's not quite to the point where he's only got the one card in, in his deck, so got to rely on that but still more than likely would be the thing that he would need to even reach the the kind of ground that frost is breaking right now which is uncharted territory i think for the grand majority of us dan i'm beginning to wonder well with this kind of hand yeah no with the way that this is rolling up i'm pretty sure he's going to be able to clear this blind at the very least but yeah no that's not going to be an issue so dan up to 70 million though okay okay pretty good all pogs all around Paige, thanks for the three years of prime there's millions of twitch channels but you said i'm gonna three year this piece thank you Paige. i appreciate it <laughs> that doesn't help us yeah. but we'll take it anyways no you might as well and then Johnny spend Tennessee. all of your money. If you're gonna grab that negative so we vagabond, we just picked up a vagabond. We get two X a pair, but we don't X the pair. We get more more bootstraps for the Billy. We just got our 18th negative. Buffoon me. Get another bootstrap negative. Bootstrap could be good. I want to see 11 yeah, jokers. Noob. Bootstrap could be good if you're a noob. That is a very fun element of this. Beside, or you know. Ignoring the fact that it's not really getting him anywhere close to the score he needs to win, it is very fun that J Dan has 10 jokers like that. <laughs> I just really like that. Taking a quick pick down here, or a peek down here at Cine V. Let's go in and listen in on him for a bit. I feel like uh, Ooh, he hasn't been able to get much cooking yet, okay. but this is probably the best look he's had Hang so far, and he grabs a hollow mime, too. Okay. Kill me. Or is that a... I think it's a foil mime, actually. Yeah, foil mime. Another death card. There you go. There you go. That tarot is building up too, man. I think it was like a plus 26 or something on that on that tarot joker. Yeah, nice. Another death card. Oh boy, here we go again. Hold on. Here we go again. Practice. This is on the low end, isn't it? Yeah, my goodness. Queen of Hearts. Which yep, Frost is now he's clearing E13 on a blind. Yeah, that's uh he's he's getting into the ridiculous territory down there. I mean, you would already gotten there obviously, but even more so now. The reroll vouchers too. A DNA. No, you, you that can't be. 
There's no way, right? We could get rid of we could get rid of hanging Chad. You're getting the DNA. Play around with okay. it now since we can double duplicate. Okay. It's a little tough, but Ooh. I would come. That's seltzer, yeah. Yeah, we have survivability now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Frost is going to go ahead and get it cooking again down there. Uh, all right, all oh, Apollo, the dumb dog. That is a one out of five times two, and we hit it both times. The dumb dog That's double sick. bloodstone clone, man. Oh, yikes. If we lose, we know where to blame now. That stinks. We know who to blame if we lose. None of this matters. Uh, I guess we hangman right away. Yeah, get rid of those. There's an emperor. There's so the death. closer Apollo that. can get... Um, I'm going to hold on to it. I don't want to get rid of the tarot generator. To the single card um, deck. The better, obviously. Sure, make this guy steal. I don't care. And that might be his only um, hope at this point. Sun card. Do we have any non-kings? Yes, we have two kings that aren't kings of hearts, so buy the sun card. Yep. 30 minutes left. Just give him another uh, invisible. Yeah, matters. why not? The only thing that matters now is Brainstorm. I think that's the only way we improve this. Ooh, hold on. We've got to tune in with Daniel for a bit here. Looks like his time in the sun might be up. Wait, hey, is the red seal better or is the glass better? Glass cannon, here we go. Got it. Holy, got it. we're you in this, daddy -o. We're in this. Still in there is Dan. We're All fighting right. tooth and nail. We're going to need something to... Oh. Oh, We're going to need something. Oh, Dan. We're going to need something now. to take Let's us go. to the Eleven promised jokers, land. I don't Dan. know what it is, but we don't have it. I want to see it. Meanwhile, Frost yet again. Not, the other one not even as good. I had five with re re but E31 remains oh, wow. absurd. 4.5 mil for Cine V. Let's go. Cine V's getting there now. More Bloodstone procs, too. Let's tune, on him, or tune in on him again. Got a Seltzer still building up that Tarot Joker with the plus 31. Yeah, we, it's pretty we nice. can't really get, any, get rid of anything except Seltzer. Considering the shoot the moon here. I think yeah. with shoot the moon sure. climb, you gotta you ha you just have to at this point. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I do wonder how many queens he's actually got in the deck at the moment though. Or the needle coming up. Oh boy, I did not realize City V was already an anti nine too. That's not great. Okay, so we can make one queen. Hmm. It's pretty late in the game to be there we go. In this condition. Oh, that's a big help, though. A couple more queens in the deck. He's scoring well, clearly, but... He's, he's running out of time. Both with the timer and the, uh, the antis. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Big score. Big score from Apollo I'm coming up. get there on this one. Tiki trigger. Oh, is it enough? It's not enough. Close. Wow. Not That's a not nice score. On, a second time might have on any us. other um, day, that would probably do good it. Good news is we can still hunt for that brainstorm. DNA's back. DNA's back. Don't think we can take it. Yeah. Don't think we can take it. Man, so that makes me wonder. Uh, I don't know if Apollo can do it now. Damn, we didn't get the right voucher either. Unless he I just gets a miracle negative. A I gotta kick this shit into high gear. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's still a long ways away Frost. from where Frost was. Who's one dollar per card played and a negative joker? Hmm. Do I want that negative joker? That's what you gotta debate now. I think you gotta go for it if you're if you're dumb dog here. I think you gotta roll the dice on that negative tag. Oh my god, Frost got a blueprint. Because we can find that again. What on earth? Trust me, chat. 
Trust me, we can find it again. We're setting up right now. Like we're, we're, we're setting in a, we're up, in a transitioning says, phase now. Anti-15, E16 blind. He, this we man says, I'm setting phase. up. See? We are in a transitioning phase now. <laughs> Hi, babe. We're now trans. Frost is uh, popping off here. Frost is having the run of his life today. And what a time to do it. And now can you not be confident, right? Jeez. All right, Apollo yet again. I'm guessing his Tiki is not on King of Hearts, though. It is. Wow. Okay. Maybe with better luck. Oh, it's the same stones. round, right? Maybe yeah, of course. I should copy Dusk because that gives me a better chance of getting a higher score, doesn't it? This kind of reduces my score, but makes it more consistent. I think he's no right. Yeah. Really I need to go faster. I'm running out of time, and I have plenty of time to improve. Brainstorm. Man. Um, I just love the dude. It's so satisfying to me, as, as especially as the person running this tournament to see dumb dog playing this way like he, he is he is gaming right now he's he's considering all variables making sure he's taking the most advantage of his position but it uh, like he said though i think it's very cool well hold on a second let's see if he's going to take this negative he does all right negative tag for apollo if he's able to get something decent out of this it could be the difference maker he's looking for But uh, yeah, like he was saying, I think it is very quickly reaching the point where he has to take these chances. He's more than likely going to want to shift his blueprints uh, both over to the Tiki, I would imagine. Just to be able to, or maybe, maybe not even the Tiki, maybe even the Bloodstone, just get the highest chance of, you know, like good luck treating you well. Meanwhile, over here with Dan. Ooh, Dan has the flint at this stage. That's rough. Steal the gold queen. Ooh, Sin did grab a Baron. I see that. Yeah, nice. Okay, Sinny V onto something in the final 20 minutes here. Let's see what he can cook up. I think it's, I think it's a long road. Oh, I think it's a boy. long road. Yeah. Here, We're let's see how this goes. See how this nine plays, but I think Dan might be SOL here. That's 600 mils. Uh, that's a high bar to meet. Yeah, it's not looking good we for Dan, a little bit short, huh? That's a respectable score, though, man. I we think gotta he's got to be pretty happy with that. We got another queen and another red seal, right? He's still got a few hands left, but... Yeah, not looking great. Yeah, Dan doesn't have a single times multiplier in that set of jokers, does he? Which is crazy. He does also... That's a very good point, actually, Hectic. Yeah, he does have that uh, extra life joker. That extra life negative, which I believe you need to score at least 25% of the blind in order to clear with that one, which he will have. Pleasey, 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 okay, pleasey, so pleasey, 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 pleasey. Yeah, we he's definitely, he's, he's over a third here easily, so he's still alive. Wanted. Well, good for Dan then. Okay, he's still got another shot. Maybe another shop or two could help him out. But of course, the blinds from this point on are going to get absurd. In fact, I think he's into the billions now. So yeah, maybe maybe only one more shop for Dan at this point. But who knows? Could be the miracle shop he's looking for. Meanwhile, Cine V down there in the bottom right, man. This is certainly a much better position than he's had up to this point today. Finally, we get our deuce. Is that a negative erosion for Apollo? Yeah, okay. I don't know the size Sub of his six. deck at the moment, but I imagine... It's pretty small. The only unfortunate issue with that is I believe erosion is one that adds the multiplier after your times multipliers have been calculated. Is that correct? So sadly, that's just going to be like another flat plus 40 molt or something at the end. But uh, yeah, not going to be uh, not going to be great. I think he would be I think he would appreciate me calling his deck small there. Yeah, no, he call it like I see it. 
Well, yeah, all right. That's uh, that's not the miracle draw that Apollo was looking for. He's still going to be scoring pretty high here, though. play a hand without five cards. It doesn't count. But is it enough? More than likely not. It's actually wow. pretty hilarious to that consider the erosion being unlikely. added on at the end of that. It's just it's like bad, a friggin' right one, drop man. of water in the ocean at that point. All right, well, we got 20 minutes 30. remaining. Go ahead and temperance. Oh, hold on. We can finally use this. One last uh, quick chat poll um, here. With our two strongest contenders, give me a one in chat Dang. if you believe Frost is going to hang on to it. Give me a two if you think Apollo is going to pull out the come from behind victory. A late. There's Baron. Does that help? Does, does Baron it? help at all? Like, actually, I don't uh, think it does. Not really. Not not here. Baron's 1.5, and we only have two extra kings in our hand, so it's guaranteed 1.5 times 4. It doesn't really help. You'd have to give up something that is almost help. certainly going to be a lot more valuable Shame. to you, yeah. There's death, but we'll take you. Yeah, that ain't going to work. We'll go next. <sighs> Gotta remember, time is of uh, importance right now. Whoa, hold on. Um, oh, okay. okay. He's Yeah, I was going to say, Frost is probably beyond the point of being able to consider an ectoplasm, right? I think he's already cracked at least one. Going that low in hand size, not a good idea. Well, at this point, I don't know, actually. Hold on. Because it'll be a minus two, right? All he really needs is five in hand. Maybe worth considering. Well, he's not really going to need much more help, I suppose, at this point. Taking a peek down there at Cine V has managed to crack a 10 million score. Good stuff for him. I think Sin's finally getting something going here. It took the entirety of the two hours, unfortunately, but finally Cine V is looking at a decent build here. Got himself that negative hanging chat. He's been building up this fortune teller joker the entire time and has grabbed that Baron as well now, which is uh, almost certainly going to be something he's building into for the remainder of the run. But is it even close to enough at this point is the question, of course. And most signs pointing to no unless he gets bailed out with maybe a legendary or, you know, just something perfectly complimentary to what he's got going on here, which at this point, I don't even know what that could be as far as dealing with the scale of scores we're dealing with now. Any more or any additional steel cards, obviously going to be pretty nice for Cine V. Here's going to go ahead and offer the chariot over the hangman. Loves his rerolls, man. Cindy V ain't afraid to send it on the rerolls. Meanwhile, yet again, let's go ahead and watch Frost's number go up. Oh, is this? I think this might be a new high. A brand new high score for Frost Prime. E37. Getting there, getting there. Unbelievable. Getting there. I'm just gonna make it better. So calm, so composed still, even as the pogs accumulate. Still setting up down there as Frost Prime. But unbelievable. It's a combination of luck and just perfect understanding of what you need to be successful in this game. And my, my man has clearly put in the hours. And it's paying off. Looking at the bloodstone. I think this might be a sign that it's time. I think I think that it's time. Gets rid of the DNA. I think that it's, a, I think that it's just a sign that it's time. There it is. There it is, makes sense. Ooh, Apollo down to, oh geez. The hand size for Apollo. That is the extra this slot, but extra I suppose longer. that's all he needs. I think the only way we're winning now is with Brainstorm. I think that's just the answer. The answer is Brainstorm. Yeah, you might be I right. Don't break any more glass cards, right? Breaking the glass for this point at Apollo is pretty bad. Okay. That was lucky. All right. How much time do I got? 14 minutes? Running low on time here, guys. Uh, that's a good voucher. I have to buy that just in case, even though, like, time-wise, it, it's bad. Um, roll me. 
none of this matters. Although, this gives a bunch of chips. That's better than this. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to use this. That doesn't matter. I'm selling it. I'm buying this for more chips because, sure, chips yep, are good. Yep. Bonk don't matter. Um, next round. What's the boss? Oh, thank God I bought that. Oh, wow. Thank God I bought that shit. That's... Yeah, he's got to be patting himself on the back first. for that. That would have been it. Use up plays first. Dude, these boss blinds have had it out for us. There have been some hard like counters from those boss blinds. Does Tiki hit? Oh, Tiki didn't hit. Yikes. That's we got big Dan scoring yikes. big again. Please. Dan! Uh, can we hit a Billy? Dan trying Which to clear a Billy play? here, dude. This one? Dan going to be putting up a respectable score here. We hit a Billy. Over a Billy for Dan. Very nice. Yeah, we need to get some rough negatives. All right, with one more hand. Play this one. Looking like he's going to be just shy of two Bill. Red Seal Queens would have done it. Yeah. And Not there bad, it is. Though. We'll take it. There it is. He taps we'll out 1.9 bill. Let's get some claps for Dan we'll on that it. one, man. That was let's solid. See, let's see. Uh, let's see how everyone's doing here. We got 13 minutes left, so he might have just tapped out fully at that point. Can't really blame him. But man, okay, yet again of the flush five for Apollo here. Left. God, it is it is insane to me that this is oh not my even. God. Oh my God! I've broken so many glass oh, cards. Oh, another glass card and cracks for gonna, Apollo. Okay, he hit again. It is We're crazy to me that this isn't I, even I close right now. to what he needs cut it. for the W here. Oh, Cinny V taps out at 15 right mil as well. No. Something massive, an absolutely massive. Ah, that was his. Yeah, I'm that's the best he's time. been able to build up at this point too. That's a shame. General Taffy. Dan Yeasling. I, I gave it my all, sir. Dude. Sometimes the RNG okay. is in on the dice. That's it's about fair, the dice inside the, your gray matter. Hey, I had a lot of fun, no, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks Who's, uh, what's, what's, what's the score breakdown here? So Frost Prime is on the run of his life. I'm not going to lie to you. Even if you got just unbelievable luck today, it might not have been enough. Frost is getting into the E37s right now. Which, oh, what, what, what's he cooking with? He's got a blueprint, a dusk, a sock and buskin. So he's got a deck that is... Almost exclusively card. Red Seal Kings and Queens um, of Hearts. So we got a negative idol along with that. This just the synergy is ridiculous. Uh, like it, it, nearly unbeatable. Did you say Buskin or Baskin? Uh, cool. Either yeah. one. S -s Sock and Buskin. I don't have a lot of time to think about it. I don't know. I think. <laughs> All right, yo, Bear. Thanks for having me, man. It was fun. Yeah, thanks so much for playing, man. Good to have you. All right, see you, buddy. Take it easy. Another thing. Like we have a free Joker slept. All right. We We're saying Sayonara to Dan. Though. It looks like he's tapping out at two bill. Let's give another round of applause, please, please for Dan Giesling for there. making it to the finals here. An admirable showing. Oh Big ups to him dude. for for gaming the with the best of them of today, man. Cards we've broken are insane. I'm gonna take that. I don't know if it'll okay. be enough, but that's pretty good. So at this point now. Is there a brainstorm hiding in here? Obviously, Frost no. still trying to do his best to improve his score here, but he's Save set the bar I'm doing the thing. I'm high enough for Apollo. Um, it's the next boss, right? Yeah, so I need to uh, next round and spend all my money. 11 that minutes left. Oh, that's actually literally like a buff. <laughs> that's yeah, a buff. Serpent's pretty good, in fact. Yeah, there you go. Oh man, this is where Baron would have been nice. Actually, this is the one situation in which Baron would have been the play. Sell these two. But obviously, he's not going to build around the serpent. Discard these. Wow, garbage. Um, play. Yeah, I got you. You go. Maybe that steel card will get it, will get us there. Um, sell you double discard. What are these draws, man? Play. God, Baron here would be wild. Um, wow, I didn't actually. No, I did. For some reason, that card's there. I have one more discard. I have two more discards. Dan oh, Raiders, man. welcome on in. Got our final ten minutes here. It's coming down to the wire. This is a very exciting I'm finish. I'm not gonna lie. This is awesome. Uh, 
we just send it again? Because Apollo, Flush five. it's a slim chance, but he's got a chance of clearing this E37 that Frost put up. But he is still going to need some more help. Please stop. I've, I've literally broken the high end of each one every time. He does this also need to stop high score, but cracking glass cards here, yeah. It's still not going to be close to it. Yeah, dude, it's cheese. It's, like, it's, ah, it's crazy that this Weird. isn't even it's close like still. Hey, Artie, it's a bad time for that. <laughs> it's crazy to me that that's not even close. Like, the difference between E25 and E37 is ridiculous. Meanwhile, yet again, we got an E25 down there from Frost. I think he just beat Apollo's score with that play, too. <laughs> Oh, man, I cannot believe the round scores we're seeing today. Yeah, we can put this thing up here now. I guess that's fine, too, since Dan's not here anymore. Oh, my goodness, man. Unbelievable. Shout out to Cine V2 for, for still playing it through. That's a true competitor right there, man. With only nine minutes on the clock, you know, clearly... Odds aren't great. We got a bunch of threes, though. Maybe we can make something out of that. Meanwhile, though, Apollo, of course, still rocking that size five hand. Do the best he can with that. Not going to be too much hunting necessary at this point. I'm pretty sure right now Apollo may only have, like, at most, like, ten cards in his deck that aren't what he wants. I love the two players have beaten the round one and two high score. Yeah, that round one and two high score has like been blown out of the water at this point. This is a, this is a proper finals right here, man. Going to be looking at yet another absurd score here from from Frost. Let's go ahead and tune in on Apollo's. Oh, you're right. I fucked it. Oh, we're fine. Didn't matter. Yeah, you can already. It's it, you can kind of tell like halfway through no the breaks, scoring is like, ah, oh, that ain't gonna cut it. I'll clear the blind, sure, but we got we got it's bigger fish to fry right things. now. What would you even give me? I don't think you can give me anything. Do I even? Buy yeah, is there a legendary that bails him out now? Aura, I guess. I mean, I guess if he got his own, uh, Cryptid. yeah, Krypton. Two X on the kings and queens, maybe, Ectoplasm. but Plasm. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, <laughs> <nothing>. <laughs> Did you hit? You did you not You only need two hands, or um, two cards in hand, right? I believe us to be dead. I just gotta keep sending it. Yeah, man. Just gotta keep sending it. But I admire the effort, but it. the bar is just too high at this Why point. Why have my tarot cards all been the same? Is what I want to know. There's Hangman, finally. Mm. That's a good Hangman, at least. But he's going to have to find a situation where he can use uh, it, which... Oh, I need to play all of these. What am I doing? This isn't I'm a guarantee. I'm plays, too. So you got money. Hello? Am I dead? Uh, Potentially. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Be kind. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, maybe dead. Probably dead. Hmm. Well, let's see. Um. Yeah, dead. I think. Oh, I think he's okay here. Uh. Oh, I do like that. Without the red seal, it's rough. No, nah, Tiki didn't hit. I think we're dead. Oh, Tiki didn't we hit. Tried. Oh no, Ooh, I didn't realize bad that. Look at the end there. Oh, yeah, without Tiki, he's doomed. Is that an E38 from Frost? Very, My very good goodness. Luck at the start and then bad luck at the end. Oh, not even Unbelievable. Close. Yeah, not even close. Oh, that's a shame, man. Tragic. That's a shame. Wow. Yeah, it was a cool run. I think it I think it wins literally any other day. That's the RNG of it, though. That's that's exactly right, man. Wow. Well. That'll more than likely be a wrap, I think. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of silly to push on. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way either Dumb Dog or Sinvicta is going to be able to build an E38 run in the next five and a half minutes. So, I think we'll probably go ahead and wrap it there. We'll see the no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to jump in on Frost here. I'm going to let him play this out to the to the end. I'm just going to go ahead and full screen him actually because I'm pretty sure both Sin and uh, uh, Dumb Dog are pretty much tapped out at this point. So, let's head over to a full screen of Frost.
And let's just enjoy the last few minutes of this absolutely ridiculous build. Wait, right, this guy, wait, right, no, this guy is Polly. What the hell? Sometimes they just don't shimmer. Just all your another do, um, brief reminder, by the way. Forget the biggest I've ever seen in my entire life. That this is his only... Uh, you see me do it again. This is the only run he did today. This is the first run he did today. No resets. Come on, I just need my idol to proc one more time. Just one more time for the fans. <laughs> just one more time for the fans. Oh, man. Queen of hearts again. You fucker. You fucking rat bitch. You know that? You know you're a fucking rat bitch? He's still mad at it. He's still not satisfied. He wants more. He's still setting up. He's back. Say, I am curious just to see what this kind of thing would do. That as well 36 mil off a single king, no big deal. I'm trying, I'm gonna speed through it. I'm gonna try to get one more round. I'm gonna speed through it. We're gonna get one more round in. I like it. We don't have five queens for flush five, we only have a couple queens. I'm speeding it. I'm speeding it. I'm speeding it. We can get one. Just I just want to look at the idol. If I can just look at the idol. There's a lot of reliance on the idol today, After but extensive it worked math, out. I have concluded should be copying to get one extra re-trigger and one extra X2 for the best step. I don't, you didn't say what I should be copying. Goodness. <laughs> ah, every time, dude, it's so crazy. Oh boy! All right. So out of out of the sense of obligation here, let me go ahead and head back to our our multi view one more time. As Cine V, I mean, biggest props of all the Cine V right now. Stinging it through to the end, man. But uh, as the final couple of minutes wind down, this Frost makes his go at one more shop and one more round. Just got to give another big shout out to all our competitors, man. Dumb Dog very nearly making it happen at the end. Dan Giesling with a very respectable 2 billion score to wrap up his day in the finals. Big shout out to him. Sinvicta, of course, had a very strong showing for us on Tuesday. Easily made it out of his group. Couldn't quite get anything cooking today. But you know he's always going to be a contender. But it all ended up being moot. When you're going up against the likes of an E38, man. Not much you can do about that. As we get into our final 90 seconds, we'll go ahead and tune back into Frost. As he finishes this up. Just one more round, sir. Don't go down at lower seltzer. I have to, though. Wait, I actually have to. Wait, I'm fucked, then. Wait, seltzer just won't go off. Wait, no, it will. I have five more hands with it. So now the correct math thing to do is copy one of your retriggers and one copy of triple A. Copy one of my re-triggers and then one copy of Tribule. Oh. Oh, I played a shit hand anyways. That's fine. It'll re-trigger because of this. I love that a bad hand is still going to clear E25. <laughs> oh, man. Just barely, but still. He got there. Man. All right.
Yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it, dude. Sheesh. Did he get it? It's King of Hearts! Wait, it's King of Hearts! Oh, wait, on. it's King of Hearts! Go, 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 go! Wait, 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 go, wait, wait! Go, go, hurry, no, it's here. run! It's here! You're running out it's of here. time, hurry! Wait, it's here! All okay, right, so you said copy this it. and then copy this? Okay, 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 okay. He, um, he has crossed the intersection while the light was yellow. He's in. He's in. This'll count. Okay, um, bing. Bang. Ten Boom. seconds remaining, but we're, we're counting this. Before you play the hand, can you explain <sighs> it's not gonna, all the It's not gonna do seltzer! Fuck! It's not gonna do seltzer, man. It's not gonna do seltzer. Oh, I am yeah, too many, too that's many true. Hands. That's right. Damn. It's not gonna do seltzer because I got too. My hands are too big. Oh, the problem when my hands are so freaking big. <laughs> that's time, boys. Break his fingers if he plays another card. Absolutely true. Oh man. All right. Well. Unlikely to clear his previous score anyway, so we'll go ahead and call it there. But please give me another big old round of applause for all these competitors, man, today. And thank you very much for tuning in for Bear Taffy's Bellatro Brawl. And a big shout out, a round of applause for Frost Prime! Our first winner, our inaugural victor of Bear Taffy's Bellatro Brawl. That was a hell of a performance, man. My God. All right, let's jump in with him and see how he's feeling. Frost Prime. Hey, buddy. The biggest of congrats, man. Holy cow. I mean, Thanks. what a way to win. This is, I, win hear, style this is I hear your best performance ever in the game, too. Uh, Yeah, I just got 39, yeah. E39. Oh, my God. W was that without Seltzer? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. This is insane. What a, what a day to get this right. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, congrats, hey, I got you man. content, you, too, you know? Yeah, no doubt. Well, you, you are far and away our, our victor. You have taken home the inaugural Bear Taffy Bellatro Brawl. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I'm going to hang it up on my wall. Sounds good. All right. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> good luck in future endeavors. I assume we'll probably uh, be able to get you back for future tournaments. You'll be interested in that? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah. All right. Congrats, man. Enjoy. Thank you. Dumb dog. Hello. Dude. It was so close. That was that was the perfect conclusion. I couldn't have asked for a, a more exciting final, especially given the fact that an E27 somehow was not enough to take home the gold. Yeah, honestly, I'm way more happy with that boss fight where hearts were debuffed than anything else. Keeping it alive. Yes, with yes. 1,000 points to spare. That was clutch doing the calculations too. I, I, I was telling chat, I appreciate the, the competitive nature. I love it. Yeah, no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to lose. I hate losing runs to boss <laughs> blind, so yeah. I was happy to get past that. Yeah, I, I mean, you gotta feel pretty good still though about the performance in E twenty seven. Like we said, he's usually good enough to to go the distance. Just ran yeah. up against a juggernaut today in the form of Frost's best run of all time. But yeah, congrats, man, I, going on with the thank silver. Thank you. Thanks for making uh, putting on the event too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Appreciate you playing, man. I'm guessing we'll have you uh, interested for future tournaments as well if they happen. Yeah, probably. Awesome. Is right. it, if the timing works out right yeah okay congrats on the right. second place man and i'll uh, yeah, see yeah. you soon bye bye see you cindy v bear taffy that's a wrap my friend how you feeling that it just wasn't your day i guess the the jokers weren't playing your your way yeah the jokers were uh were really screwing me um i just i got at, i mean the the run that i'm on is the best run that i've had yeah just, like, right that's just how it goes. But thanks for putting it together, and uh, congrats to Frost, and I look forward to the next one. Yeah, appreciate you playing, man. I, and as you mentioned, I'll, I'll more than likely do some more in the future. I'm guessing you'd be down for that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got I got to the finals, and that was my goal for all this. So, I uh, I mean, obviously winning was the goal. But yeah. after my last place in the in the one shot, I uh, needed redemption, and I I used a lot of that time to get better at the game and kind of change my mindset. I've hit, I've been hitting knees before. Just today wasn't today wasn't it. Yep. it was uh, it's RNG. What can you do? Yep. Amen. Well, it, it, respectable showing though, man. Absolutely making the finals. Well done on that, and uh, we'll see you Thank in the next you. one hopefully. All right. See you later. Adios. One last round of. Claps, please. Bear claps. Your global emote equivalent in chat, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this. This is a very fun event for me. I appreciate the turnout immensely. Thank you for showing interest in this. Uh, a one in chat if you'd like to see another one in the future. 
if you just give me a, 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 a quick little reassurance of that as well, as I would absolutely love to do something like this again. And uh, maybe even get some more uh, folks involved. In fact, if you have a favorite streamer that you think would be interested in participating in this event, uh, you let them know to tweet at Bear Taffy, and uh, I'll keep them in mind for future rosters. VOD is going to be over on YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy as well. If you missed any part of the event, I have the first round has gone up already over there. Uh, round one, group one went up today. Round one, group two will go up in the morning tomorrow, and then the finals will go up on uh, Saturday. So feel free to catch it over there. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. This went better than I could have possibly hoped, and I'm looking forward to the next one.